because it's very, very deep, all right? Uh, what do you say to a 28-year-old man who feels like he's not where he needs to be and wants to give up on life? The first thing I want to say to you, man, is you're 28. <laughs> well, how do you want to give up and you're just 28, brother? Uh, I don't want to be sound condescending to you, but I'm here to tell you, at 28, you're still supposed to be having the fun of your life. You know, what I want to say to you, and here's what my, my, my grandfather told me and so many others, man, it takes you 40 years of your life to find yourself. In your 20s, you're not supposed to know necessarily what, what the life is going to be like because you're still discovering you. You're still trying to find out who you are. And it's not time to give up, man. You're too young. You got too much promise. Now it's about, it's about the time of discovery, finding out who you are, finding out why God placed you, you're finding your purpose. I believe that the reason why you may be feeling that way is because you're unsure about what you were placed here to do. Sometimes we get frustrated because we try to carry out what everybody else told us to do. What your mama told you to do, or what your grandmama said about you, or what's going to make you some money. Uh, and, and, and just because grandmama said it or it looks good on TV may not be that it's what God placed you here on earth to do. So let me encourage you, my brother, that I, know, I don't want to sound condescending because I was 28 once before. But the blessing is at 28, I knew God had called me to preach. I knew what my purpose was. And some of us get it earlier. Some of us get it later. The only difference between you and me, brother, is when I was 28, God revealed my purpose to me early. Let me tell you why God had to reveal my purpose to me early. I believe, my, my mentor, Joe Gregory, tells me this all the time. He says, do it. God calls preachers uh, at, a, at a young age. Uh, he calls us for two reasons. He calls some because they're just great people. That's why he calls them when they were young. He says, but others who God calls young, he calls them when they were young because he knows if he didn't call them when they were young, uh, he was going to lose them. That's who I am. God had to call me young when I was 17 years of age when I started preaching the gospel. He called me at 13. I was 13 when I got called to preach. I waited until I was 17 to preach. But God had to call me and let me preach my senior year in high school because God knew if I made it to Atlanta without saying yes to him, he knew it was going to be deuces for do it. Because he knew that church and the Lord would have been the last thing on my mind. Listen, when I came to Atlanta, we were having Freaknik. Y'all ain't saying that we had Morris Brown. And the Lord was the last thing on my mind. So he called me early and made me preach every Sunday. I preached every Sunday of my freshman year almost. Every Sunday because God needed to keep me close to him so I wouldn't get distracted. And then God called me at 19 to be a pastor to make sure that because he knew if he, got, if, he let me get, if he let me get loose, he knew it was straight deuces. Forget the Lord. So some people God calls early because they're good people. Others he calls because he knows he has to get them young. So maybe for you, God has more trust for you. He's giving you more time to find your life and find yourself. Man, get your head up and have fun. Get your help, head up and, and live life and smell the air. You're 28 years old, brother. And I came to tell you that God's got a whole life ahead of you, man. You got 40, 50 years ahead of you, man. So, so realize that it's a process. You're in process now, trying to discover yourself, trying to discover your purpose, trying to discover who friends are. You're maturing. Now is the time to make mistakes. Now the time to discover and learn and discern. Because guess what? When you get 30, then when you get 40, by the time you get 40, life will be more clear for you. 40 is a significant number. Right now, you're still in developmental stages, and it's okay. The other thing I want to encourage you, don't look at your other 28-year-old friends who may have it together. Because a problem that happens sometimes that will drive you crazy, you look at your friends that you grew up with. They 28, got a career, got a family, and got the wife, and got the two kids, the car, and the dog, and the cat. And you look at yourself, and you're in your basement of your grandmama. It'll make you want to just drink Hennessy until your liver has cirrhosis. But I want to tell you, just don't compare yourself, because you can be paralyzed by comparison. They may have started early, and that's good for them. Amen? But God has given you time to sow your oats, and shop, and discover, and learn, and find yourself. And once you get to where you're going, you have more appreciation for it. So Stop looking at each other, somebody else's life and comparing your life because you don't know what the water bill is on the other side just because the grass looks greener. So you enjoy life, man, and, and realize that God has you here for a purpose. Ask God to reveal that purpose, and nothing will be greater in your life until you discover that purpose. And when you discover that purpose, you're walking it free, you're walking it victorious, and you realize that God kept you and God spared you. So, man, don't you let the devil convince you that you are unaccomplished. Don't you let the devil make you feel that you have not arrived. You're just 28. 
You're 28, man. Listen, I'm, I'm past 48, and I'm still trying to figure some things out. So we're forever learning, forever growing, forever maturing, forever developing. But every round I get better, every round I go higher and higher. So mess up and get back up. Mess up and get back up. Ask God to reveal his purpose to you. And take the pressure off. You're putting pressure on yourself. Maybe from your mama, from when you're going to get married, when you're having some grandchildren. Take your time. Just tell them when you're going to pay for them. Are you going to keep them? Amen. So don't let them put you in that type of bondage like that. Enjoy your life one day at a time, my brother, one day at a time. Now is the best time of your life. Enjoy. Travel the world. Go on vacation. Blow your money. Now is the time to do all that. Amen. Now is the time to be silly, footloose, and fancy free. But just, just be free in your spirit and let God lead you and let God direct you. Don't try to live, make yourself grown too quickly. you had at a good spot, my brother. Hold your head up. God's got you. I promise God's got you. And it's going to get better on the other side. You can't quit. I'm not going to let you quit.